Okay. Now, figure 10.5 shows a progressive wave traveling at a speed of 24 meter per second to the right. Okay, determine the wave number um, and calculate the frequency of the wave and write down the wave equation. Okay, good. So we have a progressive wave here. Uh, this is a progressive wave. It has a speed. Uh, this is the speed of the wave. Okay, this is the speed of the wave. Uh, not the speed of the particle. Okay, not the speed of the particle. It's the speed of the wave. Uh, which is equal to f lambda. Uh, this the formula for wave speed is v equal to f lambda. To the right, uh, the wave is traveling to the right. That means the formula must have uh, going to the right is a uh, negative kx. Uh, okay, remember, uh, going to the right is negative kx. Going to the left is positive kx. Uh, I explained about that before. Positive kx. Positive kx is wave move to the left. Negative kx is wave move to the right. Uh, okay, if wave move to the right, that means the formula must have negative kx. Next is the wave number. Okay, uh, uh, he asked for wave number k, and then this is the frequency of the wave. Okay, he asked for the frequency, and then wave equation. I need to build the wave equation. Okay, so uh, what information given in the diagram? So we have uh, okay 16 cm means from here okay so you can see from here up to here so what is this length uh, you can how how long is a wavelength ah uh, wavelength is actually from crest to crest uh, this is a uh, this is actually considered one wavelength from here to here ah uh, okay or actually you see uh, here this is the equilibrium position if you look, this is actually the equilibrium position. Uh, I want to draw it out. This is the equilibrium position. Uh, we can say one wavelength is uh, between, you can say is between uh, here to here. Uh, this is also considered uh, one wavelength. Uh, this is one wavelength also. Or you can also say uh, it's from here to here, uh, which is Considered as one wavelength. Okay, uh, so from from crest to crest is one wavelength. From trough to trough also one wavelength. From the equilibrium up to the consecutive, uh, uh, you know the equilibrium is also. I mean the the second the second equilibrium is also one wavelength. One wavelength. One wavelength. One wavelength. So what is exactly sixteen cm? Sixteen cm is how many wavelength? Ah, uh, so it is. Uh, here is another one wavelength. Ah, uh, here another one, and then here another one. Ah, uh, this is how we we look. Yeah, from crest to crest is one wavelength. So you have one, two, three, four. You have four wavelengths. So we can say, ah, uh, this sixteen cm is actually four lambda. Ah, uh, it's actually four lambda. Okay. And then, uh, how about this uh, 4cm? 4cm is from, uh, is considered, uh, is from crest to trough, uh, which is 2 amplitude. Because we know that uh, 1 amplitude is from here up to equilibrium, uh, this is considered as 1 amplitude. And then going below here, um, going below here, uh, this is another, uh, another amplitude. So, uh, 4 cm is from crest to trough. Yeah, uh, just want to write it down here. Uh, this is considered a crest, and below here is considered a trough. Uh, so the distance from crest to uh, the, the the center the center is the equilibrium. Ah, uh, okay. The center line is equilibrium. So from crest to equilibrium is uh, one amplitude. So from crest to trough is two times amplitude. Ah, so so this is actually uh, two amplitude, uh, and the unit is in cm. Uh, be careful, it is in cm. You see, uh, the unit. Uh, be careful with the unit. So this one is centimeter, centimeter. However, our speed, our speed here is in meter, uh, meter per second. So all the unit now uh, you must change. You must be careful. 
okay okay so now we want to find okay uh, write down the information we have okay also so we already have four wavelength is equal to uh, 16 cm 16 cm it's better to change all to SR unit ah you must change all to uh, SR unit uh, so first you change to SR unit then you carry on yeah so divide by 100 it is uh, 0 0.16 meter uh, this is a uh, this is a uh, considered uh, for wavelength so wavelength is equal to uh, divide so you have uh, this uh, 0 0.16 divided by 4 uh, you have uh, the wavelength is 0 0.04 4 meter ah okay so you have the wavelength already now how about the amplitude we know that 2 amplitude is equal to uh, 4 cm also you have to change to si unit this one change to si unit uh, okay change to si unit so uh, you have you will have uh, 0 0.04 meter okay divided by 100 okay so what is your amplitude divided by 2 so it is 0 0.02 meter okay once you have all in si unit you are safe to go yeah so now i want to find the wave number okay let's find out the wave number uh, uh just put this at the side yeah uh, over here okay uh, now we we'll carry on our jobs uh, so a question a i want to find wave number wave number formula is two pi over wavelength uh, 2 pi over wavelength so uh, what is our wavelength yeah what is our wavelength wavelength is 0 0.04 meter uh, unit in meter better or in si unit yeah better you make everything in si unit uh, so 2 divided by 0 0.04 i will have 50 pi 50 pi uh, the unit is in uh, per meter uh, or you want to write as radian uh, per meter or uh, radian per meter also can yeah uh, you want to write meet per meter or radian per meter also can because uh, the top here is radian okay so you can write as radian per meter or you want to write as per meter both accepted okay uh, so is the answer correct uh, is a uh, Per centimeter is 0 0.5 pi. Uh, also can lah. Uh, but be better you make the unit in meter. Uh, better you make a unit in meter. So uh, better change the unit to SI unit. Okay, so the answer is correct. Uh, if, if you use per cm, you will get 0 0.5 pi. If you use meter, you get 50 pi. Right? Per meter. So this is correct. Next coming up is... Uh, Question B, I have uh, frequency. I need to find frequency. Okay, frequency I will get from, um, what is the frequency? Uh, where to get the frequency? Uh, frequency, I need to find the wave speed. Uh, you see, because the frequency F is found in uh, wave speed. We go to F lambda. Uh, so, uh, to find the frequency, I use the wave speed. Wave speed is equal to uh, 24 meter per second. Uh, you see, this I purposely use, I purposely change to SI unit because I know the wave speed is in meter per second. Uh, so if you don't change, you don't change this CM to meter, uh, later on you will have trouble because your wave speed is in meter and your K is centimeter, then you will get confused. You will get wrong calculation. So better make all in. SR unit. Uh, make sure you always change to SR unit before you proceed. Okay? Uh, so, uh, now our wave speed is uh, 24 meter per second. So, our wave speed is F lambda. Uh, okay? V equal to F lambda, which is equal to um, 24 meter per second. Uh, so, uh, our, our lambda. Okay, do we have our lambda? Yes, we already have our lambda which is 0 0.04 meter uh, 0 0.04 meter ah, it's safe because uh, because my lambda is in meter uh, my lambda is meter 
so I no need to change. Uh, so uh, meter with meter, okay, good. Uh, so what is my frequency? I can find out my frequency. So just divide twenty four divided by zero point zero four. I will get six hundred hertz. Uh, or you can write the unit as per second. Uh, 600 hertz. Is it correct? Yes, yeah, 600 hertz. That's correct. That's correct. The answer. The frequency. Okay, fine from the wave speed. Uh, see? Uh, you must understand how many wavelength is this. You must know from crest to crest is one lambda. Uh, from trough to trough also one lambda. Uh, from crest to trough, this is actually two amplitude. Not one amplitude. Two amplitude. All this you must know. Okay, so re the rest is uh, okay. Doing the wave equation, so uh, wave equation means uh, the the displacement equation. Okay, uh, I mean this question wants to find the displacement against time equation. Okay, what's the general formula? Displacement time uh, a sine omega t plus minus kx. So write down this form general formula. Write down the general formula. Question C. Okay, y equal to uh, a sine uh, omega t plus minus kx. Okay, what information we don't have uh, before we can build the equation? Okay, amplitude we already have, good, in SI unit. And then omega, do you have omega? Oh, we don't have omega yet. So we need to find omega. K, do you have K? Yes, K. Is already uh, is uh, 50 pi per meter already in SI unit. So I just left with omega. Okay, uh, I just left with omega. So uh, I just need to substitute all this value a, omega, and k. And then also must change the uh, plus minus to the correct direction is minus kx. Okay, now I will find the omega first. So what is the omega? Omega is, I got the frequency, isn't it? I got the frequencies. Uh, is I got the frequency 600 hertz. Uh, so I use I can find omega. Omega is uh, 2 pi f. Uh, omega is 2 pi f. So uh, just multiply the 600 here. Okay, 600 here. Uh, and I get 1200. 1200 pi, uh, which is uh, radian per second. Uh, I got it. Huh? I also you can write this as per second, yeah. You can ignore the radian actually. You can ignore the radian. The unit is per second. Okay, so my omega uh, also in already in SI unit. Uh, my second is in SI unit. Okay, so I got all all information. So next is just fill in the blank. My a is in meter SI unit zero point zero two sine. My omega is. Uh, 1200 pi uh, t okay make it a little bit here uh, and then uh, is it plus or minus what's the direction the wave is moving to the right to the right means negative kx negative kx uh, to the right means negative kx uh, negative okay so the wave move to the right means negative kx negative and then k yeah? the positive negative is the direction of the wave huh? and then k is 50 pi already in si unit meter yeah good per meter okay so write that uh, k is 50 pi 50 pi ah okay x uh, okay and uh that's that's all that's all k is 50 pi and then write x uh, is that it is that it? You just leave the leave with the equation? Not enough. You must write down the unit. Uh, like before, you see, the for equation, you always give together with unit. Uh, you see, like this equation, uh, like the previous example. You see, you give the equation already. You also state the unit. What is the x and y unit? Meter. The time is in second. You must give this, this statement also. Don't just give the equation without the unit. If we don't the unit, then we don't know it's meter or centimeter. So it can be have many units. Uh, so you must be careful. You must give the unit. You must state the unit. Because different unit, different unit will have different value, different 
amplitude different uh, k different omega uh, so you must take the correct correct unit yeah beside giving equation you must give unit also uh, you must state that uh, like this uh, like this uh. Uh, so you must give unit yeah beside giving equation you must give unit so uh, so your x and y both in meter and then time is in second uh, then only you get full marks okay uh, equation correct with units uh, x, both x and y the x and y here both are in meter time is in second because I already changed all lambda, amplitude, all in meter, meter, k also in per meter. Uh, your frequency is per second. Omega also in per second. So all already in second and meter. Uh, then only correct. Okay, so that's all for this question. Bye.